So Jess, you've shown me lots of functionality in CRM and lots of really useful tools that I can put into use. Yep. But what if I want to brand the look of it so it matches my company's preferred colour scheme, for example? Can I do this? Yep. Yeah, you can. Um, you can add your logo in, you can change the colours on the screen to suit your brand image. Um, and we find quite a lot of companies do like to do that because it gives their system a sense of personalisation and ownership. Um, employees respond quite well because it's something they know, something they're familiar to seeing. Um, so yeah, so we can do it. Okay, can we try? Yes, sure. Cool. So, to change the colour scheme, you go to Settings and Customizations, and you'll see that there is an option called Themes. Would I need particular um, permissions to do this? Uh, it's usually System Admin or System Customizer permissions um, that you'd need to have in order to do this. So yes, you'd need to check that you've got access to okay. themes before so we can you stop, start. We can stop. Anyone doing yes, it. Yes, yeah, it doesn't give everyone license to go in and, uh, and start changing otherwise. things. Yes, <laughs> definitely. So you can see here at the moment we've got the uh, default theme, which is what we see here. So we've got the Dynamics 365 logo, we've got the, kind of the black theme on the um, navigation pane, and then you'll see here we've also got the navigation shelf, which you can see is showing a grey theme there. Okay, so black and grey is not our company scheme. We'd like to change yep. just those two to start off with. So how do I start? So go into settings and you click on customizations and you'll see that there's an area in here called themes okay and you can see here we've got the default CRM theme right so I could have multiple themes in that area yes you could yes and then you just select which one is the default um, so you can drop and change if you want to if you go through a rebranding exercise it just means that you know you can add that in but keep a history of maybe what your brand was before okay and we could build one, try it out, but not apply it. Yes, yes, so you, it does have a preview function, which is quite handy, um, right. just to make sure you're happy before you actually go and publish it into the live system. So what you can see here um, on this screen is there's lots of different areas that you can actually customise. So for example, we've got, um, what this is showing us here is the, the logo that we're actually using at the moment, it's Microsoft Dynamics 365, so that's what you see right here. Um, and we've then got the main navigation pane here. So it works on hexadecimal code colours. Ah, um, so you've got to know what your hexadecimal codes are. But so we've got the black here, which relates to the navigation bar. Um, we've then got here the grey, which is actually the navigation shelf, as we call it. So that's this section here. Um, and then here we've got the header information. And that is actually the headings here. You can see it's that blue colour. Okay. So and it keeps on going. So there's lots of different options. So we can pick have. and choose and change just one of those aspects. Yep, if or all to. of them if you want to. Um, okay. It really does depend how far you want to go with this in terms of personalising it to your business. And we can just go to Google and look for the hex numbers for particular colour. Yeah. Work. So there's lots of websites out there where you can just go and have a quick look and find um, which hexadecimal code okay. you need. And the logo itself. Can we use any logo there? Any file format? Um, generally, it's PNG works best, we find. Um, but there is the option to add in a, um, a JPEG or a GIF if you want to. But generally, when we're actually adding the logo in, we always say go with PNG. And I guess fairly small size to fit in the navigation. Yes. Box. So uh, I think the maximum limit on the height of the logo is fixed 50 pixels. And then on the width, I think it's up to 400 pixels. Okay. So as long as you keep within those parameters, um, then it should fit on the screen. If you go outside of that, then what you'll start to find is it starts chopping bits off. In so it won't go. scale it, it'll chop no, off? No, it okay. will chop off, yeah. Okay, so let's make some changes then. Okay, so what I'm going to do for this example is I'm just going to clone this, which means it's going to keep the system settings and then we can chop and change little bits rather than start from afresh where you then have to go through and add in hexadecimals for everything. Okay. So yeah. sometimes it's just better to clone it and then work from the cloned copy. So what I'll do is I'll rename it just so we know that this is actually our our own theme. So we're doing our tech man theme. Yes. So if I just save that quickly. So first thing I'm going to do is add in the tech man logo. So we've got the option here where you can actually go and look for images that you've already got loaded into the system. Now I know that the tech man logo isn't going to automatically be in the system because we're using the out of the box version. Okay. So I'm going to need to go and create a record for that. So I'll just click on new there. And I'll call Management. Actually, that might. I'll call it tech man. There we go. You can add a description number. To be honest, it's quite. 
self explanatory in, in terms of what we're doing, yeah. So these are all the different formats that you can actually upload, and as I said, PNG we find um, generally works best. So let's go and browse now, and we'll find our logo. Uh, so Okay, and then I'm just going to save that and then we'll publish it. So we need the logo ready when we get to this point. Yes, yes you do. Okay, so if I come out of that now and we'll go and actually find that and add it in. Ah, so we save it the background and then yeah. we'll choose it just when we then want to apply in. it. So I'm just going to look that up. And if I go on display main, there we go. Our technology management one. So you can see now we've okay. got the logo added in. So next bit on this then um, is we get to change the navigation bar colour. Okay. So I'm gonna go a little bit wild here. You're going for a high impact colour. <laughs> I'm going for a high impact okay. colour. Um, so we want people to notice the navigation bar, so that makes sense. So let's see what everyone thinks to this then. I'm not sure our marketing department are gonna be very happy with me here, but Are you ready? <laughs> so, if I wanted to preview this before ah, so publishing, okay. so yeah, so let, let's go and have a preview of what I've done there. Okay. That is quite a dramatic change. <laughs> I quite, I quite like it. I quite mm. like it. Uh, it's a statement. The logo works as high contrast. Yes. And it does get my attention. Yeah. There you go. Right, so I think we need a, a nice contrast to pair that up with. Okay. So, so for the shelf, the navigation shelf. Well, I'm going to let you have a go at this then and okay. choose. So if I just exit out of this preview. So I think I've got a hex colour that you could use for the shelf. So if, so. if you try a um, hash of 32, CD, 32. Let's try that. <laughs> okay. Ready? Yep. Hold my breath ready for this. <laughs> I think we could be on to something here. You can tell we don't work in marketing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you can see we've still got our navigation. Okay, yes, yeah, so I can't see a change yet. Here. Okay, so that's published the preview, so you ready? Okay. So yes. we've got the navigation bar here. Yep. Let's have a look at the shelf. <laughs> yeah, that's some. Um, that's stylish. Bold. Yes. We're making a very bold statement. I think we here. are making a very bold uh, statement. I'm quite sure marketing will have words with us. <laughs> but that was really quick and easy to do. And the, I mean, the logo does work really well. It does, yeah. It's nice to personalise it. Would you then be able to go further and change, for example, the colour of the text that's being used for the links? Yes, yes, you could do, yeah. So you can change this header text here, um, which also then just change some of the stuff on the forms and CRM as well. So okay. um, that's really where you start getting into the realm of all of these different areas as well. So it's just a case of having a bit of a play with it, but because you've got that really nice kind of preview area, you can preview what you're doing before you mm. actually publish it so that everybody else... So if you've already got an internal sort of SharePoint system set up and that's already branded, yeah. you just make this blend in without yes, branding yeah. quite easily. So you almost feel then it's just one, one seamless system. system, yeah. Excellent. So if we were going to be sensible, and maybe we should be, let's just come out of um, the preview again. So you can see now it's gone back to because we haven't published it. So we're back to the standard. Yeah. Okay. So I think if you can just read me that code there. So if we actually use the technology management branding. Okay. Um, three, four, nine, two, yep. nine, C. And if I do, I'll do that for the navigation bar. So let's have a preview of that. So we're now going to have a tech man team. We are. Okay. Back, back we'll on bring message. It, we'll bring it. To being sensible again. Hot pink and lime green are perhaps more of a Friday thing than yes. a Monday. Okay. But also, hence why you do want to control the permissions so that everybody can't go in and yes, uh, start to stop doing people things like, like us that. doing yes. this. Yes. Okay. So you can see now we've got the tech man no, That looks quite stylish. It does like look that. quite nice, doesn't it? That's really quick and simple, and gives you a nice. A nice homely feel, I suppose. To the That's software. it, and as I say, people do. It's nice when it is your own brand. You do relate to it a bit more. You do feel that sense that it's your system, your ownership. Um, so I do think you get better buy-in by branding it. Excellent. Thank you. No problem.